Hello everyone, this is Joe, Four Soft Corners, back with another video, and over the next two videos, I'm going to split it up and um, show off a pickup I've had uh, from Com C. Um, so the first part I'm going to show is basically all baseball. Um, some additions to my 53 set, and um, and then the second part, um, I'm just want to give advance warning for anybody that um is going to be a non-sport video so um i'll get into explaining how i got into it more in that video but um, i'm going to be showing off in that video a uh, some non-sport pickups from the uh harry potter franchise some just base cards and um some relic costume cards from that so that'll be my next video so um but for this one, um, I had a few of these cards just uh, in my s stack of bought cards, Com C for a while, and I waited till I had quite a few, and then um, decided to get them shipped. Um, which I think I think it was like twenty five cards. I only took um, I just did the basic shipping, and I think it only, only took a little bit over a week to it was filled and then sent so definitely have come a long way with their shipping times and processing but so we'll just start i have uh eight pickups from 53 set um, so here's luke easter Howie Judson, and as you get deeper into set builds, there's cards that constantly, of just seeing the names over and over on the checklist and looking at cards here or there and thinking, like, maybe passing on them sometimes or stuff like that. Like, I, I could have swore I had the Luke Easter card about five times over, but I kept double checking and I didn't have it yet, so now I finally do, but there's Bubba Church. definitely done a better job now of double checking and stuff like that before I just pick cards up so I'm not double buying them in the past I've done that quite frequently there's Davey Williams John Rutherford so I should have double checked before I did the video but um I think as soon as I purchased these, I'd already crossed them off my checklist. And I think in one of my other videos, I said how many cards from this set I had. Willard spent. Um, so I think I think even with these, it leaves me I think 65 cards short. I think that would put me about 209 I have from this set. Dick Bokelman. Here's the last of the eight. This is Jack Dittmer. And then I also have two, um, not technically from the set, but, um, So I'd previously had a reluctance to pick up anything graded from the set just because I like putting everything together in the binder. But um, So these are from the 91 Topps Archives set. Um, so at the National, I had... Um, I'll show... Another reason to show this card off again. I, I'd pick this card up. And some of the bigger cards I decided then that I would feel better having them graded. And, but instead of just having an empty spot in the binder then or um, putting something else in as a placeholder, like just an index card with the name of the card or player or anything like that, I figured with this set existing even though they're 
the standard size of baseball card, not the size of the normal 53s. I thought I'd just put this in the binder in the place. And then I actually picked this one up as well because I have showed the Willie Mays before and um, one uh, local card shop that opened here, there's a guy that comes in and does a, sends off to a couple different grading companies from there. So uh, I decided to send that one to SGC then since I already picked up the Jackie that was graded, I decided I'd get that one graded as well just to have it protected. Um, that one has a lot of tape and stuff on, so I'm assuming it's gonna come back as a authentic, but I just like to have it slabbed. Uh, so the rest of the, just a couple pickups. This one's kind of a funny story. I, well, I got back into collecting in 2013 and I didn't open a ton of football, but a little bit. And I actually, I should have, feel like I had a, a lot of good luck opening football back then. So I maybe should have stuck with it because I was having luck pulling a lot um, bigger cards from that than baseball at the time. But um, I remember this is from 2013 Finest and this was just kind of a, nostalgia type thing I um, seeing some of the newer stuff and talking with my friend Bryn about um, hopefully tops getting the football license back to switch to fanatics um, some of the tops designs and stuff were a lot better than anything today and in my head this was kind of a nostalgia thing I just wanted to pick up this was like 36 cents but I kept, I had one or two of these, um, back then, and I remembered them, I mean, it's still a neat, with the refractor finish and the die cut, it's still a neat insert, I think they had one player from every team, I think they were all rookies, but I'm not exactly sure, but, um, in my mind, I thought they, they're called, um, they are all rookies, because it's called Finest Atomic Rookie, I think there was one for every team, um, in my mind, I thought I remember them having the atomic finish, which they do not. Um, so I thought about if they did, which I couldn't remember for sure, I would maybe pick up more from this set because there aren't any really huge cards. But I was just looking through and what was on Comsi. This one was like 36 cents, so I just picked it up. And I don't know if I'll pick any more of them up because they're nice looking but I love atomics and I thought that's I thought they all had the atomic refractor look but they do not um but with his documentary and everything it's kind of topical right now so I mean I might just throw it I'll either hang on to it or just throw it in a dollar box or something at the next show uh this one I, I hadn't owned any of these cards yet I saw them several times I wanted to pick some up um this kind of checks two boxes with being a Phillies fan first and then also liking the Mariners so Cliff Lee when he pitched for the Mariners um I did not own any of the E-Tops cards yet so I believe they're all s were supposed to be I could be wrong but I thought they were all like encapsulated and uncirculated holders um so I don't know if somebody just took this out or if they weren't all like that but I just wanted, those are really nice. I wanted to see one of those in person, so I just picked that up. That was like 50 cents or something. And then lastly, I have two pickups for the Billy Butler PC. Um, and I thought this card was really neat. Because this shows, uh, so the 2012 MLB All-Star game was in Kansas City. And this was his only All-Star game selection. Um, he was not voted in, but I believe was selected by... Ron Washington because I think they needed a Royal and um, also was having a pretty decent year at the time but so also I thought it was really cool because he's next to Miguel Cabrera and Mike Trout in the picture and then as I was looking at it again I was thinking well they're lined up with the reserves there and 2012 was Miguel Cabrera's triple crown year and Mike Trout's awesome rookie year <laughs> and I was thinking 
why weren't either one of them starting? Uh, so then I had to look up. So Cabrera was playing third at the time yet, so Beltre um, won the vote for the starting third baseman. And the three A outfielders, I believe, were Josh Hamilton, Curtis Granderson, and Jose Batista. So, and then. Um, David Ortiz was the DH, so I guess there wasn't, I mean, at the conclusion of the year, you definitely think one of the those two guys would have been a starter, but um, not anything against the other guys, but just not the way it lined up, so, but it led to this pretty cool, he getting an ovation from the home crowd there, and then those two depicted in the same card, so. So that's just the base, and then this is, I believe it's just called the Golden Moments Parallel. Um, I mean, it looks, I know, I think in other years, they were called Canaries and Gold Sparkle and stuff like that, but I believe that this year it was just called the Golden Moments Parallel, so. Um, thought this card was really cool with the two other guys there and so pick those two up so that is it for this video like I said uh, my next video I'll have the rest of my Com C pickup which will be all cards from the Harry Potter franchise so um, I understand if, <laughs> if that's not your thing and you don't want to check it out but um, if you just like watching videos and maybe you want to see something new then you could check it out also but um so until next time i'll just leave you with uh any card can be a great looking card even if it has four soft corners take care and see you next time thank you